If you see this video, that means I made it home. If you don't see this video, then I probably messed something up and crashed somewhere along the way. The skitter keeps telling me it has a kink in its neck. Well, this is an example of a balsam tree with an innie belly button. You see them once in a while. Come on, Mother Nature. It's May 2nd. <laughs> What's the deal? It's May 2nd. I think I dare take down the snowmobile signs. I haven't heard one in a little while. Ah, I'm going to take it down. This is how wet our roads still are. I'm pretty sure the frost is probably out of this road by now. But just driving a pickup on it just sinks in it. That's why you definitely can't have trucks hauling on it. We want the barrel back, so he's gonna pop the barrel. There you go, look at that. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to tighten up the steering sector on my Super Duty here, and it's right down in there. See that? Yeah, look at it. It's right there. Can you see? <laughs> it's down there, that little jam nut thing down there. So I'm going to take this air intake hose off. I've already got the air cleaner out. Try to get at it. Well, I stuck the... It leaked a little. I don't know if you can see that down there. Leaking a little. I stuck the tube back on, fired it up. Actually, what I should say is I screwed that Allen head bolt in about a full turn almost because it was pretty loose, and I tightened the jam nut up down there. Stuck the uh, air intake tube back on, pipe, whatever. Fired it up. Seemed tighter. If you see this video... That means I made it home. If you don't see this video, then I probably messed something up and crashed somewhere along the way. Because I really didn't invent any new words today while working on this, I'm gonna put this level of difficulty at like beginner level. But I'll tell you what, <laughs> this thing is a pain. If you take it apart all the way up there, then it's not so bad. But you can do it without taking that apart. But you might draw some blood on your knuckles. You know, it wouldn't be fair <laughs> to make you think that the job was that easy. And if you were going to try to do this on your own. I actually accidentally broke part of my fan shroud. Because <laughs> I was kind of prying it off to the side so I could get at that adjustment. And it snapped off. And it made my life a whole lot easier. So, there, I have leftover parts. Oh, I absolutely love the color of this new fridge that we got in the shop, this little mini fridge. And I said, oh, that's the color I want to paint that Kenworth. So I got some paint samples here. And this is more of a metallic. This is a candy red. That's, does he, you think that matches? Pretty well. I like the candy red. That's a ruby red metallic. Yeah. Can't really tell, can you? That's pretty close. 
this, this one here is ruby red metallic. The middle one there looks pretty close. That's a vermilion red or 100A. There's all of them are vermilion reds. A little different version. I'm going to bring them out there and put them on the truck and see what they look like. I, I know I painted Dad Super Duty here last fall. And this was one of these vermilion, vermilion reds. I suppose I could look it up and see, but I kind of like the color of that too. Our Peterbilts are uh, Victory Red, I believe, which is a GM color, a Chevrolet color. It's not very far off from the Vermilion Reds. The paint on this Kenworth has failed so bad that it has no shine or anything left on it. If you can see how bad it's cracked. I've buffed a lot of the cracks out of this thing, but trying to decide what color I kind of like a little bit darker red this is that red candy metallic that's that's what I'm leaning towards how would you look Kenworth really hard to tell isn't it so I've buffed this single stage paint a couple times in the past you can see well I went through the paint there I buffed too much but you see how cracked that paint is and no shine I'm gonna buff again <laughs> just to try to get the color maybe that'll show see how bad that paint is absolutely no shine on this girl whatsoever I want to change that yeah, I know. I'm absolutely doing all this wrong. So don't even bother yelling at me. I'm just using the wheel buffer for uh, on aluminum wheels. I was trying to get it to shine like that. I went up there. <laughs> she burned through the paint. Apparently I buffed there too long. So I'm just fooling around making a mess. But you, you can see I buffed right there how much shinier it got. Maybe it's not a fair comparison. See, it's not. It's very dull. That's where I buffed. Yeah, look at my hands. Didn't buff. I buffed a little bit here. And I buffed a little bit right there. But you can see how much shinier it gets when you buff. But if you... You can see where I... I just scratched with my fingernail a little bit. You shouldn't be able to affect the paint that much. If the paint was any good. That's that red candy metallic. Hmm. What do you think? <laughs> I'm not a very good judge of this. That's why I spent uh, what hour and a, hour and a half with John yesterday trying to pick out colors. Well, Spiff said we should paint it the color of my dad's personal pickup, and I'm over here, and you know what? It's pretty doggone close. And there's Spiff right there. Look at how close this color is. So there's the fridge. This is the under the door panel that was on the Kenworth that uh, what Uncle Ron must have taken off when he put the lights underneath. But my goodness, that's a really close color match. I should bring this out and show you the show it against the truck to show you how bad the paint has failed on this truck. So that's the light. This is where this used to be was underneath the door. I was trying to give you an example of how bad the paint, how good this is compared to how 
yeah, it doesn't really show, at least it doesn't look like it in my phone. But yeah, that's, it used to shine like that, now it looks like this. And yes, it's trying to rain, imagine that. The sun was actually shining this morning for the first time in days. Is there any objections to me painting the Kenworth, that color I picked out? Any objections? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Well, I guess I just, uh, <laughs> I guess I'm going with that color. And yes, that is a short bus. Uh, that's my mother's short bus. <laughs> she has a lot of grandchildren and she could not fit them all in her suburban or excursion. And so she bought us a school bus <laughs> and hauled them around in that. No, that's not for Spiff. No, that was mean. Out here in Nebraska doing a little turkey hunt and I thought maybe I'd find myself a job logging. Anyway, it doesn't seem like anybody's around. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.